Hey everyone out there, it's Rick here. And today I'm doing a video of my vintage uh, Zenith Circle Sound Clock Radio. Um, I got this from a Goodwill uh, for just $3.99. And uh, it's probably from the mid-1970s, I would guess. Um, it's a really neat clock radio. Um, it's not, you know, it doesn't have like the electronic uh, digital display. It's got like the more, you know, old-fashioned mechanical digital display. Um, and it looks like a flip clock, but it's actually, um, those, the numbers are on little rolls of paper um, that are controlled by a gear. In fact, you can kind of see those, the slots there on the nine, um, you know, for the gear to fit in. And that's how that's how it tr how, it's how it changes the numbers. It's literally just little three rolls of uh, paper with the numbers. And um, I can see it's about to change there. All three of them are gonna go. So yeah, that's kind of neat. Um, I've never really seen any uh, clocks like that before. Definitely a unique design. Um, I did a little bit of research on these uh, these circle of sounds, and it seems like the ones that have this uh, this kind of clock, you know, with the paper rolls, um, more often than not, the clock's broken. So it's you know it's really lucky that my uh, clock still works perfectly, and most of them either the gear is stripped or paper is you know damaged somehow, or that you know the motor's just shot. But uh, it's good that mine still works perfectly. I've used it for about a week, and it seems fine. Um, it's also got a second counter there, it just counts by fives. And uh, I'm guessing this probably would have been a pretty expensive clock radio back in the day because it's kind of got you know a lot of bells and whistles. Um, it's got a uh, sleep timer, which is you know I, I've never really seen a flip clock with a sleep timer, and, you know you know one of the, one of these style clocks. And then it's also got the you know on off you know for radio, and then there's the uh, two alarms. Um, when I first got this clock, um, there was a one problem with it, and that's that the buzzer alarm was constantly on. There's really no way to turn it off other than for some reason if the sleep timer was on, then it would go off. But you know you can't leave the sleep timer on all the time because eventually it'll just always keep going back to zero and turn back on. So what I decided to do is I just opened it up and took the piece that you know makes the buzzer sound out, and so it just doesn't buzz anymore. So I, I could do without a buzzer alarm, it's really not a big deal, I'd be more likely to use the uh, radio one anyway. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice clock radio, besides the buzzer, um, it pretty much works right. The radio is really good on it, it picks up quite a few stations, you know, even more than my GE, I think. And the sound is really good, it's got a Pioneer speaker inside, so you know, I guess that would explain why it's got such good sound. Um, and and the, kind of an interesting design, they've got the speaker comes out on the bottom. And there's little slots around the whole thing to kind of create like you know 360 degrees of sound like you can hear you can hear just as clearly behind it as you can in front so you know kind of a unique design and it really does put out some good sound and you know for a clock radio it doesn't if you, you wouldn't suspect it's a clock radio you know on if you heard it um, yeah so it's pretty nice it's pretty good condition there's some uh, you know you know, cosmetic wear here and there and I believe there would have been some kind of label on the top uh, it's missing can see the glue marks probably just fell off at one point. Um, here's the switch, uh, the on for radio, off for radio, and then the radio alarm, and then the buzzer alarm, which doesn't work, it would just be the radio. And then that little uh, display right there shows you what the alarm is set to. And then uh, there's the dial to change the time, it would just, you know, just slides up and down. So. And then I showed you the second counter. It's about, looks like it's about to change again. It changes real slow. But it's actually a bit less noisy than the GE when it changes, surprisingly. And then the way the, um, the sleep timer works is... I'll just turn the volume down for a sec. Um, you just set it to whatever, you know, however long you want to stay on. And then as the time, you know, passes, it'll eventually slide and turn back off. And then uh, before I turn the radio on, I'll show you the four knobs on the front. Um, loudness is just another name for volume. Um, it also has a tone adjustment, you know, so if you want it to be a you know, clearer or more uh, muffled sound. Uh, the AM, FM selector. It's also got AFC, which is pretty much just the same as FM. And then there's the tuning. And then there's the uh, radio display. It's kind of a, you know, interesting kind of retro design with a curve like that. And uh, when you turn on the radio, the, I don't know if you saw when I turned the sleep timer on, on the back, it, this part lights up too, so you can you know, see the numbers a little bit better. That's on, that's off. 
So, um, oh, also there's a button on the top. I'm not really sure what the purpose of it is, but it, what it does is it flips the sleep timer to about 10 minutes. So I guess if you just wanted to have a quick, uh, you know, have it on for just a few minutes, you would hit that. But, you know, just a little bell and whistle, I guess. So anyway, um, I'll turn on the radio for you. Uh, like I said, it's got really good sound. I'll turn the volume up. Yeah, it's got, it's got good sound. You'd be surprised. Okay, and I'll just kind of turn it a little bit. Yeah, it's really got a good radio, I think. Good sound. We're downstairs, so maybe it's not picking up as many as usual, but... Okay, so I guess that's pretty much it for FM. I'll do it for AM too. So that just to kind of show that it works, but it, it, it picks up quite a few. Attorney Jim Glasgow said defense lawyers the effeminate even ones that are kind of far away it still gets to you. That's me. There's so many stations, it's kind of hard to change to just one. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much the radio. And, uh, yeah, it works really well. I'm impressed with the with the sound. Like I said, it's, you know, you wouldn't think it's a clock radio. It's such good sound. Oh, and another thing, um, I was really happy to find out that the backlight on this thing works really well. Um, it's also lit by a neon bulb, just like my GE. Here, I'll turn that big light off so you can see it. There. And uh, it's not, like, the bulb's not above the numbers or below. It's actually behind them. Like, the light comes through the numbers, so it's, you know, it ends up being a much brighter display, which I like. And you know, it's kind of got that 70s orange glow to it. And, uh, oh, I'll turn the radio on, too, so you can see that. I just the volume's down, but uh, that's what it would look like when the radio's on. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, there'll be more videos to come. Bye-bye.